you know how people have these clean Instagram closets where everything is like displayed like, look at me. Meanwhile, I'm like <clears throat> stuffing my stuff. So Max Mara had a show that everybody and their mom went to in Europe and I really have serious FOMO. Like when I see these things, I'm like, damn, I wanna go. I got new packages from Chanel. And then did I tell you, I played bingo the other day I know, weird. I sound like an old lady who's like, I played bingo with my friends. And guess what I won? Are you guessing? I won a brand new Balenciaga bag. Yes, you like her? Love her. What should we call her? La Vinda. <laughs> How do you guys deal with me looking like this? I mean, somebody please scream to me to get it together. Hey, hey, happy Saturday. Well, technically today is Friday and we're gonna get this up for tomorrow. So you are watching this today on a Saturday. So I have been trying my best to do summer Fridays, as in like maybe work a little bit and then take the rest of the day off, but it's not really working. I'm like trying over here to like, I was like cursing out my student loans earlier, just paid those off, thank goodness. I'm like crazy about my credit score. Like it needs to be at a certain place and it was not and I just got so mad about it. So it really pissed me off. Nevertheless, we have tons of new packages. I'm gonna get all up in your face. This is gonna be a very like me, you, us-y kind of sort of thing, no makeup on, so. Let me show you some new PR packages. I've gotten a lot of giftings lately, which is bomb.com. And I've got some really cute stuff that I wanted to show you. I also need to go downstairs and get a Sephora, I mean a Sephora, <laughs> a Saqqara salad. So I have a Saqqara salad. But before we go down there, cause May is down there rearranging some things, let me show you what I am working with today. So Max Mara had a show that everybody and their mom went to in Europe and I really have serious FOMO. Like when I see these things, I'm like, damn, I wanna go. I have that travel bug and that travel itch again. But Max Mara did send over a beautiful hat with a QR code to watch the show. And this is the hat, which is really beautiful. I think I'm actually going to wear it in one of my outfits of the day today. It's just a really, really nice sun hat. So thank you, Max Mara, this is beautiful. And then up next, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I got some new sunglasses from Sunglasses Hut. These are by Burberry. Check those out. We have a lot of new sunnies that came in. So these are by Burberry. They are green, which I really like because sometimes I feel like I wouldn't buy this with my own money because it's a splurge, but and then I would regret it because I really want a different color sunglasses and I'm always just buying either black or gold frames. Now these came in from um, Victoria Beckham. These are gorgeous. Like I'm obsessed with these. Check these out. Aren't these a vibe? Like seriously, such a mood. All right, so we have these and what I do like about these, don't mind that there's like makeup on it because I was wearing it. They have like this tint, purple tint on the frames and then the gold hardware on the outside because I'm a sucker for anything with gold hardware. It just looks very, very posh. Now I did get something from Cartier, which were a pair of frames. Let me get those. <laughs> These, first of all, the case alone is really, really nice. Let's get into this. Look how pretty these are. Loving the tint on those. This is more like a bronzy tint. And then I like the side detail gold again. Luxurious. And this is what they look like when they are on. I think with my hair down and then like an oversized blazer, right? Giving me Lisa Bonet vibes. What are we thinking? All right, so those are those. I also got a pair of purple Celine cat eye that are amazing. Really, really like these. Again, with the color, would I normally buy this with my own coin? I probably would not because I'm just so like, when you're spending this kind of money on sunglasses, it's really hard to venture out and get some another color, but I, I would, I really would. You know what, I actually should. I should really start venturing out and buying 
other colors besides black and um well i, I guess i don't need to because i just got gifted all these things um oh and then prada sent these over which was really nice and these are a pair of white sunglasses these are the ones that i kept wearing in miami nice right so I think we're pretty much covered on sunnies. I think, I don't think I need to buy any more sunglasses to be honest, so we're pretty good here. Um, all right, so let's look at some other, look, it's just like piling up. Gucci just sent this over. Yes, right? We were like, who are we? We're getting gifts, I'm loving it. So Gucci sent this over. I know it's a fragrance already. Um, it looks really beautiful in this pretty, pretty little box. Let's read the card. Let's not be savages. Let's be classy, okay? Hi, Sai. We are excited to introduce Gucci Beauty's newest lip collection. Oh, I thought this was going to be fragrance. Look at that. Um, available in 15 vibrant shades. This is nice. Gucci Beauty team. This is really nice. And it's available at Sephora. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't. I'm over here messing up the box. Ah, oh, so pretty. Let me fix this box and do it again. Okay, here we go. I fixed this now. Now we can get like the full. Here we go, ready? Oh. I'll get a little closer, the detail. Beautiful lipstick and we have this little eye situation. This is for your eyes, right? Yes, put that on. Tiny though, it's small. Does this fit me? Does this fit me? <laughs> it looks small, right? Yeah. Maybe it's my hair. You know what? Maybe it's for the kids. We'll give that to London. <laughs> that might fit her better than it does on me. I am looking a mess. This is how much I love you guys. I'm just like, I don't even care what it looks like. You know why? Because we're friends. We're best friends. We are besties. All right, but really quick, let's open one of these up. Oh, nice. I didn't realize it was so slim. And again, with the luxurious gold. Looks good. Sheer finish to it. This is nice. All right, thank you, Gucci Beauty. These are beautiful. I'm gonna put this back in the bag because I would like to share this on the gram. Let's move on. I got new packages from Chanel Beauty. This is a new, this is really cute. Coco Mademoiselle, little tote bag, and then we have uh, Chanel Paris Light Fragrance Mist, and a gel. That's really cute. And then I also got, it is the 60th anniversary of Coco Chanel number no. five, I mean number no. five Chanel, and they sent over this like little surprise mystery box I'm going to actually open this on IG because it's kind of closed and I think that this is like something that's like a little surprise. Look at that, that's cute. It's like an ice cream cone. So I will open this on Instagram and I'll come back to you on this one. And then did I tell you, I played bingo the other day. I know, weird. But I sound like an old lady who's like, I play bingo with my friends. So no, I play bingo with Neiman Marcus. They did like this virtual event. They sent over an entire box filled with gummy bears and I killed those gummy bears. Um, and then this is the bingo board and it has like all of these little fashion things on them. They spin this gold wheel situation and pulled out the names that were on the board. And then they sent over like the bingo pieces. I thought it was a very brilliant virtual event because virtual events like on Zoom can be very awkward and sometimes people are speaking over or the connection is weird and you're like, hi, hi, uh, ooh, hi. You know, like, you know what I mean? It's just like a very awkward situation. And I think that they did such a good job. But anytime someone got bingo, we won prizes from Neiman Marcus. And guess what I won? Are you guessing? I won a brand new Balenciaga bag and it's really cute. It's like the one that looks like a crescent moon almost. So I'm waiting for that to come in. Bingo! All oh, we ready? Oh shit, my nail's broken too. <laughs> so then the hair gets stuck in, I don't know how to act with long hair. Oh my She's God. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Oh God. 
so good. This color is a vibe. Yes, how you like it, Daddy? How you like it, Daddy? Yes, you like her? Love her. What should we call her? Loving that. <laughs> So they, they sent over the bingo stuff in this box. And also in this box was more candy. At the bottom are post-its. This is called Craven Co. So these were Summer Splash Jawbreakers. This was watermelon sugar wedges. Unfortunately, I came up here to eat these last night and it's so hot in this office they were melted. So I didn't think that was a good idea. I also got, wait, what is this? More sunglasses. These are cute. Silver. I have nothing in silver. What are we thinking about these? There's actually more things downstairs. Like sunglasses. Oh, there's more sunglasses? We're going to go downstairs because there's more things. It's like Christmas over here. Oh, they sent over Pink River Rose in a can. Maison Francis Paris. You know me. I can never read a thing. But this is really good um, gold natural spray. This is great perfume from this brand. All right, so we got this. We have Claw de Poe, which I really like with SPF 50 plus. And then I got this like Neiman Marcus little mug situation, which is great for sipping coffee, especially if I am getting in the car and need to like put my coffee in. And then I didn't open this. What could this be? <gasps> Ooh, this is fancy. Glass water bottle. This is nice. I would actually love to take this out of the house, but I would break it. So I'm just gonna leave that in my home gym downstairs. So that's what I have right now in front of me. It's looking a little bit like I'm hoarding things over here. So let's go downstairs and see what else that we got. Wait, we have to make a stop. I have to get these bags that I borrowed and they need to go back. So just overall, I love telling people these things. The things that were just gifted to me, those are things that I'm keeping. Sometimes because of campaigns, I don't keep them. They go back like clothes, like things like I'm always shooting luxury items like Dior or if it's anything that was on the runway. I don't keep those things. I just give them back. By the way, can we get into this bag, guys? I got this micro Dior bag. Dior was so nice and they sent this over as a gift and it is just, I'm obsessed with it. I did like this Instagram about like, um, have you ever been in love? It was, it was a movie, it was a romance. And I talked about this bag, I'm loving it. So this is, they have their iconic bags now in micro which is great. We can go over my bags if you guys are interested another day. I just need to kind of like clean this up where it's not looking like a junkyard sale. You know how people have these clean Instagram closets where everything is like displayed like, look at me. Meanwhile, I'm like <clears throat> stuffing my stuff. I just need some stuffing in it. This poor bag looks like it is on its last leg. This is what we're gonna do. I can't find any stuffing. So I have these two winter hats. We're just gonna stuff some winter hats in here just so it can keep its shape. This bag was part of a campaign that I did for Viverell and it is a luxury service that you can um, rent your bags or jewelry from and they let me hold on to this piece for a good two months but now I have to give it back and I really, really like it. But it's a very cute bag, Louis Vuitton. And then they let me borrow this orange Celine bag. I'll be honest, I ended up never wearing this one. I wore the backpack a lot. I just have so many other bags that I never got around to wearing this one. Oh my God, did I show you guys this? I got this bag from Versace. They sent this over as a gift. Very, very nice. The leather is so soft and it's beautiful. This is my first Versace bag. I don't, I've never owned a Versace bag before. It is a very nice bag. It also has a handle strap and I put the handle strap up there, but I think it's just overall just a really cute, you know, I, I held it like this last time that I was using it and I like that it has gold hardware. Some things that I wanna do in this closet. First of all, I would like to put some lights somewhere over here, but um, I want to install like sunglass holders here and here and then I think I'm going to get gold little hooks to hang my bag so my bags can be like this too and try and redo this and then up here all of this is very organized this is all my winter stuff um, everything is folded very nicely however look how many pairs of sweatpants I have 
These are all sweatpants. It's like, I don't need all of these sweatpants. All of these are denim, denim, denim. Um, and then the things that I just literally cannot fit anymore on the floor. Why is this beautiful bag on the floor? And I got these, which I love. I bought these a few months ago because I knew that they were sell out and they've already sold out. Let me put that back. I had this bag since, I think I bought this in Naples and it was the LV kimono bag. Obsessed with that one. This is a bag from Fendi, the Peekaboo, which I wore the heck out of this bag. I love it so, so much. I mean, if you guys are down for like a closet tour, we definitely can do, you know what we should do together? We should get together and do a closet clean out because the stuff that I have in here is insanity. Like, check out these, gold, these Gucci boots. Had these, let me tell you a story about these. So I wore these on my 23rd birthday. So these are super old, very vintage. They come up to the thigh. I'm obsessed with these, obsessed. Now, can we get into the heel? This is the heel. Literally worn them into the ground. I have got to get them fixed. But my boyfriend, when I was 23, bought them for me on eBay. First of all, I found them on eBay and I was like, oh my God, I want these boots so badly. And they are very tight, to be honest with you. They kind of even don't even fit me, but I was like, no, I'm gonna get into these. And I had this whole leather look with like this burgundy fur. That was before we found out fur was so bad. I still have that fur, by the way. I should actually try it on for you. So I had this burgundy fur um, and this leather outfit. I wish I could find a photo because those were the times. You couldn't tell me anything. Wait a minute, I have this fur for you. Let me try this. I know that we're supposed to be like looking at this other products, but this is so much fun. Let me try this fur on for you because I still have it. Okay, are we ready for this? Lighting is not the best, but we're not gonna worry about that. It's just us, it's a us -y. This is the fur. Again, I want to highlight to those who are like going to attack me about the fur. This fur is very, very old. To be exact, it is 17 years old, I think. How old am I? This past 15 years, I think 17 years old. So it is technically vintage. I have three furs that I will never get rid of because why would I throw them away? Like. That would be a terrible thing to do. So I just have them. And um, I'm gonna try it on for you now. All right, what do we think? <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit closer. The, I also have, I have the same exact jacket in tan, and then I have a vest. So this is what it's looking like. Let me go ahead and put these boots on you, on just so you could get an idea. Talk about vintage. I have been a fashion lover since I was a very young, young girl. I remember second grade, I was like so about my outfit going to school. What are we thinking? Yes, vibe. Here it is. <laughs> Obviously not with these sweatpants, but can you imagine early New York days? I went to the club like this. Let me take this jacket off, guys. You guys are funny. You guys are kidding me. This is hysterical. And you guys are really distracting me. We're supposed to be opening up packages and we're over here playing games. Okay, this is the extra room that we have. And um, I decided it was so empty. There was nothing in here. They were doing the repairs for the leak that we've had for like the longest. The office was just so full of boxes. I couldn't handle it that we just moved everything down here. So May helped, uh, well actually I didn't help her at all. She did it all by herself. So she unboxed everything. This is all going to be recycling. So we need to break those things down, but we just ran out of recycling bags. And then she made these cute little signs of products that need to be shot, which will be in this box. So I'm just gonna show you a few things cause I don't wanna make things too long here. I've got some new sunglasses in the building. Some more sunglasses, can you believe this? All right, so these are from the Outnet. I'm gonna be shooting these uh, for a campaign. So these are gonna go back. These are not gifted. Uh, so we have these Gucci ones. Don't mind the tag, obviously. I'm not gonna take that off right now, but I like the cat eye situation. Very, it's a very cute vibe. Ooh, they sent over a pair of Bottegas. Okay. I am so obsessed with Bottega this season. It's real, not even this season, like 
ever since Daniel Lee, and I know I've said this before, but ever since he came on board, it's like, it really took Bottega to another level. I'm really happy for the long weekend because I'm going to get to organize a lot of this stuff. Okay, so this is the Bottega. I know you guys can't take me seriously with this, but we're just going to have to imagine, right? You know how when you try things on, you want to be super careful, like, that you don't take off the tag because you might possibly want to return it? That's how I'm feeling right now. We also have some Mew Mews. Oh, cute. I like that. These are completely different from what I'm used to. Nice little style. And then we have these. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's move on. Looks like the battery is going to not last that long. So luckily I have another one. Got this gift for my husband from Chanel. Chanel Blue is probably like one of my favorite fragrances, but look how nice this is. It comes with like this um, magnetic sh um, shave holder. What is it? Brush holder? But look, very, very cute. I'm gonna put that there. Then it comes with um, some shaving cream and some perfume, some cologne, shaving cream and the cologne. So this is a very nice, very nice gift. My husband is going to be very excited. Thank you, Chanel, for that. Let's move on to some other things that we have gotten. Revlon sent me their new collection. This is a Rose Glow face gloss. Oh, something from Summer Fridays. How nice. I was just talking about them. So Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. Definitely going to give this a try. And what is this? Oh, thank you so much. Hope you love this as much as we do. Rillery or Rylery? Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Rillery or Rylery? What is this, guys? Rillery or Rylery? Real. Um, or I'm just saying it completely wrong. But it sounds like jewelry. Oh, how pretty. Oh my gosh, and it has my initials on it. This is, says S-A-D on it. Oh, I love this. All right, again, I'm going to show the name of the jewelry here just so you can see it. But this is really nice. Actually, you know what? I remember this now. This company reached out and asked if I they can send me and Angela matching best friend nec necklaces. So this is really nice. One for me, one for you. Very, very cute. Love a thoughtful gift. Thoughtful gifts are so nice and I'm so appreciative of them. Like I really appreciate it. You know, sometimes I'll be very honest. Like here's what we're thinking. When you think influencers, you're kind of like, oh, I like, get all this stuff for free. But Nothing's free. I think I've talked about this before. Nothing is really free. Like getting all of these things, it's kind of like sending it to a magazine because you're hoping that someone will write an article about it or talk about it on stories or, and sometimes it's just so much stuff. Plus you're trying to do so much content and shoot and check emails and everything. It's just, it's hard to do. And then when it comes to beauty products, like I really want to test the products before I talk about it. So that takes time. So, um, I'm not trying to say cry me a river or anything, but it is not, I don't want you guys to think that all of this is just free and like nothing's going to happen. It, it usually comes with some sort of stipulation. I'm definitely loving all those sunglasses and all that luxury stuff. So keep, keep that coming, honey. Ooh, Bare Minerals sent me some items. The Mineral Veil Press Setting Powder. God, I was dying for some press setting powder. Let's see what we're looking at here. Let's look at this together. Photo Ready Skin for the Win, introducing Original Veil, Mineral Veil Press Setting Powder. Cruelty Free, it's vegan, paraben free. I love it, thank you guys, this is awesome. Price point is $29 per, per uh, little powder. And then this is a sheer tan. Okay, they sent me different colors is the thing. Let's just take a look at this before we move on. Oh, this is really nice packaging, check that out. Also, do you see my, <laughs> do you see this view? nice greenery in the back okay wait this opens right on up it's like almost like a magnetic situation opens right up the powder goes here very very pretty loving this and i really like the fact that it is vegan guess what more sunglasses <laughs> okay this company is a new company they've sent me sunglasses well not like super new but last year they sent me a few pair and you know what? I really like their sunglasses. I think it's Ferrocher 
Feroche, you know that chocolate, you know the, the one that comes in the gold wrapper that you eat for the holidays with the hazelnut? Fer Feroche, for you guys know. Again, I do recommend their sunglasses. They're really, really pretty, very nicely made. They changed up the sunglass holder, the case. This is pretty, guys. Congrats. This is really nice. They asked me if I wanted some new sunnies, and I was like, you know what? I'm not... I'm not picky at all. Send me whatever you, you want, and then I'll take a look at them. So this is, these are really, oh, these are sleek. I, I literally cannot see the screen. What do we think? These feel very sleek. They feel very luxurious. And the price point is not really bad at all. These are nice guys, look. They remind me of these um, older Louis Vuitton um, sunglasses that I, wanted so badly uh, a few years back, maybe like eight years ago, and they were $700, and I had zero coin back then, and I was like, I can't, I can't be buying $700. $700 sunglasses with five cents in my purse, like, that doesn't work. Okay, and then we got a pair of aviators. I love that they sent me something that I just don't have. These are really nice. I don't have any aviators with like such a dark tint to them. And the the hardware on the side is more brushed. If you can see, they feel very, very lightweight, which is nice. Oh, they feel great. There's nothing worse than having very heavy sunglasses that constantly roll down the nose. These are great. How do you guys deal with me looking like this? I mean, somebody please scream to me to get it together. Uh, hopefully I can remember because it is Friday and this vlog is going up tomorrow. It has to be edited very quickly. I hope that I can remember to drop all of these brands down in the description box. And if I don't, please feel free to follow me on Instagram and DM me if there's anything that I have missed. Okay, so some things that are just very easily accessible. Laundress, my absolute favorite, favorite um, detergent. They were nice enough to send some bottles over. I buy this with my own coin. My husband buys it. Um, I just really love their detergent. It's great. And then they do have a Le Labo scent. I love Le Labo so much, especially the Noir 29. I think it's such a beautiful scent. But um, wait, what was I, where was I going with that? <laughs> I was just saying, look, the detergent is fantastic. I think it's great. And then, oh, they came out with the Laundress Home Fragrance. Oh, let's, let's give this a smell. Fragrance capsule. Huh, This so this is Baby Home Fragrance Lavender Vanilla Powder. It says, keep upright, remove plugs slowly to insert press capsule, replace plugs when not in use. Okay, I found a scissor. So let's open this up and see what this smells like. Wow, very potent. Oh, it is very potent. I don't even have to remove this yet. I see, I see while it's in the bag. Lavender vanilla powder. It smells good. It smells like you would put it in a baby's room. It smells really good. I don't want to make this vlog too long because I really don't even know if you're interested in this kind of stuff. You know, I like to test things out and I just like the vlogs to be very like ussy and um, not overproduced and just very chill vibe, you know? just to make it feel like we're together. So let's see, oh, I got something from the Alchemist Garden. Let's see, beautiful, beautiful bag. Let's open this up. It looks very pretty, it feels very luxe. Look at it in the inside. This would make some beautiful wallpaper. Oh, wow. <gasps> Gucci, <laughs> wait a minute. I think this is a fragrance. Honey, there's Gucci down here. That makes sense why this is so luxurious looking. I shocked myself. All right, again, guys, let's not be a savage. Let's open the card first. Handwritten very nicely. I'm always in awe of people who have beautiful penmanship because mine sucks. My dad used to say, you're not gonna be a doctor because your penmanship is awful. He used to make me rewrite my homework over and over again in like fourth or fifth grade and it was awful. I'm like. The teacher really doesn't care, Dad. Like, nobody cares that much. Here is the box. Gucci Parfume. Very beautiful. You can tell that it's glass. This is nice. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I love it. We should do a fragrance video because of so many fragrances. This is beautiful. But how does it smell? Oh. We were a savage. We didn't open the car, guys. Wait, before we before we smell the perfume, come on. 
Hi, Sai. We're excited to introduce you Gucci's newest fragrance, the Alchemist Garden 1921, created and celebrating 100 years of Gucci. Also, this is available at Saks. Uh, lovely, lovely. Let's give this a let's give this a smell. Ooh, I can already smell already. We only need one. We only need one. Oh. Oh. oh, it smells really pretty. Really beautiful. It's more of like a, okay, for me, I like a musk, more of a masculine smell versus a more feminine floral. Now, there's one particular feminine floral that I really did like was um, the Cartier fragrance that I got a little while ago. So when it, that one was a little bit different compared to this, this is not so florally. It has a little bit of a masculine um, smell to it. Let me, again, let me just flip this over. Definitely smells some of the citrus. I love a good citrus smell, especially in the summer. Um, this definitely smells like Florence. I like this. I think I like this a lot. Very earthy forest. Yes, yes, you guys are giving it to me. This is great. Perfectly suited for all seasons. All right, Gucci, you did a phenomenal job with this bottle. This is fantastic. And do I recommend it? I do. This is going right in my room, darlings. Putting this away ASAP. But you know what? I'm going to take a beautiful photo with it as well. This is a very, very nice gift. And you know what? I'm really, really happy to be on Gucci's radar. So thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So what else should we open? I have a few outfits. I just want to tell you really quickly. Next week, I'm doing some events. I'm going out east and we are going to record Dior Beauty Skincare. Um, I'm doing two nights with them out east. Right after that, like life is picking up, girls. Right after that, I'm hosting an event for Manolo Blahnik and I will be wearing Oscar de la Renta. Yes. And then straight after there, that event is done at 7 p.m. I have to be at a dinner for Rachel Zoe by 7.30 p.m. So that is going to be my week. I'm going to vlog the whole thing. So that should be really fun. I'm really happy to like take you guys to these events with me because this job is hustle. Like the work ethic here needs to be on 10, okay? We cannot be running around on two. Right after I finish this vlog, May is going to edit it. I'm going to jump into doing some reels and some TikToks. But again, there's so many things on this shelf. I can put them in another video for you, but I just wanna make sure that you are into these things because I don't wanna bore you, you know what I mean? But before I go, we need to look at the looks that Oscar sent over. So I picked these up from the mail room this morning. I didn't get the shoes from Manolo Blahnik yet. First things first, it's a green, um, this green and white dress. But when I saw it, I loved it so much because they actually, it unbuttons and they unbuttoned it and put a pair of white shorts. So it's, oh, you know what this is? I don't even know if this is a dress or a duster. Hmm, let's see. I wish I could try it on right now, but unfortunately I cannot. These are the white shorts that they um, that they paired it with. The overall look was really pretty. And then this adorable romper situation, which I don't know where the belt, I think, I think the belt could go with the same white belt over there. But this romper I thought was really cute. And then the Manolo Blahniks that I chose, I wish that I had them were like these white, um, these white high heels with like a crystal on top or a pair of yellow ones with a fringe. Lastly was this top. This is so, so pretty. I really hope that it fits me because I know I have a little bit of boobies on the top, but this was just like such an overall vibe that I'm like, I need this in my life. You see what I mean? Like, is this enough fabric? sample and this is a sample you know what let's try this on I don't know who's gonna help me get into it is the problem <sighs> all right guys I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit into this so this is the top which I mean I love it but it's just not made for the girl with the boobs well the size is not made for me so it's gonna go with a pair of white shorts 
I mean, I would really need help, someone to help me put this on because it needs to be up here. The thing is, it's kind of like falling in the back. This would be very, very pretty. I'm going to try and see if I can get into this, but I feel like I would be fixing myself all night long. You know what I mean? Just like not, maybe I'll just wear the white one. Oh, bummer. I love this so much. Maybe we can at least do a video. Nevertheless, just wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know it's time to go. I need a salad, guys. I'm starving. But if you think I'm a vibe, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment down below if you like these types of videos. I am always getting new products and trying new things, so I would love to share as much as possible. And I'll give you my honest review um, because... Honest reviews are the best. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. I will try my best to get a video up on Wednesday because remember I am traveling and might not be able to get that footage out on time. So if I skip on Wednesday, don't hold it against me. Have a fabulous long weekend. Bye guys.